I'm Marianne Cushy, and this is your morning update for March 17th, St. Patrick's Day. Business restrictions have now been loosened now that San Diego County is officially back in the red tier. We had been just waiting on our case rate to fall. It's now at 6.8, qualifying our county for the red tier. Counties must stay in tiers for at least two weeks, but then after that, we would need our case rate to drop below four in order to move into the orange tier. A lot of museums and attractions getting ready for limited reopenings. They're allowed to operate at 25% capacity. The San Diego Air and Space Museum is the first to reopen today, but more will follow over the week. Next week or so, we'll put a full list of reopenings in Balboa Park on NBC7.com. You might be eligible to get the vaccine and you might not even know it. San Diego County has decided that anybody with a BMI of over 25 now qualifies for the vaccine. Three out of four Americans fall into this category. Other jurisdictions have gone with higher BMI thresholds like 30 or 40. You can check yours on the CDC's website. Looking at our latest numbers, there were 257 new cases yesterday. That's a 3% positivity rate. There are 290 people in the hospital with the virus now. Hospitalizations continue to drop. It's down 15% over the last week. There were 10 more people, though, who died. That was reported yesterday. All of them had underlying medical conditions. The SDSU athletic department says they're delaying spring football practice due to COVID-19 contract tracing, contact tracing, I should say, within the SDSU community. It's unrelated to the program itself and out of an abundance of caution. Meantime, the players continue to work out and be prepared for a complete spring season. The specific date for the start of the season has not been announced yet. Well, today is a key day in the effort to recall the governor. It's the deadline to submit signatures to the Secretary of State's office. They only need one and a half million valid signatures, but they say they have more than two million, including tens of thousands here in San Diego County. The Recall Newsom 2020 campaign has picked up momentum over the last few months due to frustrations and concerns over Newsom's response to the pandemic. More relief is now available for people in Chula Vista struggling to pay their rent. The city recently got nearly $17 million in state and federal funds for its emergency rental assistance program and is now accepting applications. It's open to both renters and landlords applying on behalf of their tenants. For more information, you can go to NBC7.com and click on Rent Relief. And we'll continue to bring you the latest news here at NBC7.com and on TV. And you can also learn more on our podcast, That's Today in San Diego, where we talk about the day's biggest headlines in less than five minutes. Stay safe, everybody, and have a great day.